On the outskirts of Atlanta is a high-tech headquarters that manufactures all the Bridgestone balls sold throughout America. And as part of this facility is a top-secret research unit that looks at the science of which ball travels further and why. The Bridgestone ball testing team is headed by Aaron Rayberg and his able assistant, Robo6. They run the rule over not just Bridgestone balls, but the opposition too. This is our incubator we use to keep the balls a nice, even 74 degrees throughout the entire year. We want the ball velocity and the performance of the ball to stay the same, whether we're testing in July in a hot time of the year, or maybe in January or December where it might be cold. As you see here, we have a couple blank screens. This is some top secret software. We're not able to show you guys right now, but we do want to hit some shots, so let's hit a shot. This facility here is uh, specifically designed mainly around tour professionals and around testing conditions. Obviously, we want to know how the golf ball performs off the robot, but also how it performs when hitting different types of turf. Uh, we have a laser level green that's designed to give us a feel for how the golf ball rolls. Next to the laser level green, we have different types of sand so that we can determine how the golf balls react coming out of the sand surfaces. And then approach greens, you have four different approach greens, all designed to see how the golf ball reacts when hitting the turf, how does it stop, how far does it release, all designed to perfect the golf ball for the end user. This is our MI Robot 6. We use this for our golf ball testing. It's very good in our quality control um, testing, very consistent. Um, takes the club back on a rotating axis, doesn't put a lot of load on the club, so it's very good for ball testing, very consistent strike on the ball. This is our sign side machine. This is very similar to what will be used in a ball fitting atmosphere. It'll actually take two pictures of the ball after impact, so it'll measure RPMs, um, ball velocity, and launch angle. Very good to actually see what the ball is doing right after impact. What TrackMan is doing right now is gathering important data for us to be able to tell the performance of each ball that we're testing. We're getting ball speed, launch angle, backspin, carry, and total distances from each ball. If it seems as though every oscillation counts, then it's because golf ball technology is a billion dollar industry, and Bridgestone have made it their business to stay ahead of the game. Well, at Bridgestone Golf, we're always working hard to improve the golf ball to be able to give end users better performance, also to give our tour players better performance. Constantly testing with over 40 engineers specific to the golf division, 900 engineers inside of the Bridgestone brand. Every two years we're working on new innovation, new technology, uh, new materials, hopefully uh, different performance benefits that push the boundaries that are given to us by the USGA and the RNA to give us better performance. But inside of that two year life cycle, our engineers are constantly working on the next dimple, the newest material, what can we do in the core? Uh, there are opportunities that exist and we're gonna continue to work on giving the end user more distance, better accuracy, more control. And Bridgestone's latest development is breaking new ground in golf ball technology. Our 2014 B330 series has water incorporated into the mixing process of the core. It's kind of like baking a cake, where you take a liquid and a dry substance and you combine it to help activate the rubber or the cake batter. Um, and in this case, it is in fact a solid core, but the water being added enhances the outer region, which makes the golf ball travel faster, but it makes the inner region softer so that it spins less. But like all great inventions, a bit of luck is needed to get the ball rolling. The new HydroCore technology was very much a eureka moment for us at Bridgestone Golf. Uh, what we found is our R&D team was actually using water intended to be a filler as a part of that liquid mixing process. Normally, we don't use water to activate the dry substance. But in using the water, when the prototypes arrived here at this facility, uh, testing it on the robot, we found about four to six yards of increased distance, which we normally wouldn't see. It's usually maybe half that. And what we did was we literally went back to R&D and said, what happened here? That water that was intended to be filler actually served as function, delivering more speed and lower spin. Pretty difficult to do both, but our engineers were brilliant enough to be able to deliver us that technology, and it translates. You see it on tour, and you can see the average amateurs using the new B330s. Bridgestone's success in developing some of the world's best golf balls can be seen through the number of tour pros using their equipment. Some of the world's best and most consistent golfers are getting behind the Bridgestone brand. We have an incre incredible stable for the players like Fred Couples, Matt Kuchar, Brant Snedeker, and many others. So we feel very fortunate to have them, but what we love about our tour professionals, they're the first to tell you that I may play this golf ball, but it may not be the right one for you. Play a golf ball that fits your game. The B330 RX and RXS are great examples, even our E6, intended for you to play better golf, not necessarily what they're playing on tour, but it's all about the Bridgestone brand. 
No, 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 no. You need a little more shoulder turn. 